A terrified farmer called the police after he believed there was a tiger on the loose on his property. Police were called to the scene and engaged in a 45 minute standoff with the tiger. But after a while, it became apparent that the tiger was not as it seemed. More on this today on IO. What is good? This is IO and I'm Charlotte. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your trending news on YouTube. Before I get into this video, tell me in the comments below, did you have a stuffed animal when you were little? I had a blankie. Let me know in those comments. Every so often, we come across a story that is too good not to share. 24 year old Bruce Gubb was celebrating his recent move to a cottage in Scotland when he went to check on his very pregnant cows. He panicked and called emergency services after he thought he saw a gigantic tiger in his cow shed. He was super panicked because he thought that the tiger was gonna eat his cows. So he took a picture of the tiger and sent it to the control room, and an expert confirmed it was absolutely a real tiger. Several SWAT team units were called to the scene in Hatton, Aberdeenshire, including three ARVs and a dog handler. The police also contacted local zoos to see if a tiger had escaped. According to radio updates, the tiger seemed like it had eaten because it was very settled. Remember, the tiger was found in a cow shed. Apparently someone even reported seeing the tiger's ears twitch. So 45 minutes of nervous observation goes by and a radio transmission from the sergeant comes in and he says, rather reluctantly, that the tiger was actually a gigantic stuffed animal. The farmer who called the police was obviously very embarrassed, but police confirmed it was a false call made with good intent. And according to Bruce, he was stone cold sober when this happened. He fully thought the tiger was real. So where did the stuffed tiger come from? Bruce has no idea, but it was obviously a prank. Someone probably left the stuffed animal there to mess with him. What a legend. Alrighty, I'm gonna respond to a few comments now. Victoria Dojaka says Charlotte is by far the best looking potato. Um, thank you, I think. David Yana said, who needs the news? I got IO. Yes, you do. Mm. Demetrius Williams said, can I kiss your feet? Mm. No. The video is over. Thank you for watching. Over here is a link to another great video about the hot coil challenge. Do not try this at home. As always, make sure you turn on notifications by clicking the bell so you never miss a video.